Hey people, this is going to be a video about installing QTS 5.0 beta on your NAS and um, I'm just going to show you how it actually looks in real life. So uh, make sure that you have supported NAS. So this is a list of NASs that actually support QTS 5.0 beta. So in my situation it's going to be 453DX, slim um, NAS which we're going to use for this testing. So all you need to do is just go to QNAP slash download, put in your model number and you'll see QTS 5.0 available for download. Click uh, the region you, you got uh, for faster downloads and, um, and then you can move on to your QTS. Go to firmware update, browse the installation file and uh, click uh, update system. And then it's going to say automatically restart the system. Yes, we want to do that. So we are going now uploading this new uh, QTS file, which we downloaded manually and um, we could going to place that on the QNAP. So when this is uh, uploaded, we're going to uh, move on. So now I'm just going to pause the video for a second. Okay. And five minutes later, we have new operating system. So uh, NAS has rebooted and we can see there is a new background. So let's log in and have a look what has changed really. So everyone's excited. Is it worth um, upgrading to QTS5? Is it worth trying it out or not? Is there any changes? Is there any risks and stuff? So first we can see um, there's lots of notifications going on, but you can see there are some sort of um, tags now, like icons on, on, the, on the side of the notifications so you can actually see them grouped in a way of importance if there's just uh, information is there is some alert which is important you can see these um, notifications group like that so um, nothing really massively has changed the way they do things so first they are asking me for updates that used to be that like that already you can see icons are slightly bigger than they used to be let's try to resize them maybe we can't quite big could be smaller. So first, what do people use it for? So a file station probably. Let's open that. Mm, not sure it's faster, but all right. It's just beta at, at the end of the day. So you can see there are videos and, and photos. Um, let's do some samples maybe. Uh, sample music. Let's open that. It's pretty much like it was. There's, there's nothing new there. Photos. Oh, let's open that. I can't say it's much faster. It's very similar like it was. I wouldn't even say that only design has changed. But um, let's have a look at other things what they have. So they said there's going to be easier to find things. So when you click on this start menu, which actually I like. The search is not very obvious, but let's say uh, cache. We want to configure that now. Hybrid man. Um, settings. We can go into settings and see what's changed there. I would say nothing has changed there. Pretty much the similar situation. Mm. We could just go through the list. What did they promise to change? So optimized user interface. Um, that's the user interface we have. Mm, apps let's see if there's any changes of how you install apps so let's go app center open that up um everything is like it used to be uh apps i was worried actually that there some apps might not work because of our new operating system but it seemed to be all right so all apps let's say people would want to install probably plex is Plex still compatible? Yeah, it's still on. I, I had it installed. We can uh, start it just to double check if it's working or not. Um, on the top bar, you can see search again, volume control. So if you have connected it to a Bluetooth speaker or HDMI or AUX out, something like that, you could control it from here, which could be handy if you're using a web browser all the time. If you're not, then probably this is not something for you. Uh, background tasks running. Mm, nothing running in the background. External drives connected, you can see. Any um, alerts. Uh, system. 
problems yeah you can see there a few bits happening in the background drop down for um admin you can change you can restart and do things and change password probably like you used to be as well now massive change there um what else we got help option there if you need help changing language uh desktop preferences um there are, this is something maybe new window mode tab mode frameless mode uh, let's try tab mode don't know what happened there <laughs> um i think it's like um user preference if you want to see things different way then you can switch between these things i think i will keep it as it was <clears throat> window mode what else we have about that used to be there as well nothing has really changed there uh, so that's the notice board we have that's how it's called now um, let's see what they are trying to do so if we click on that then nothing happens more details okay could be a bit more responsive I guess this is just a notification you can't actually do anything okay system performance how do we close this notice bar? Can we close it? Not sure we can close it. Okay. Anyway, let's <laughs> move on on the performance side. So that one looks pretty much like it used to be as well. Maybe new background. That's about it. Mm. Recycle bin as well. It used to be there. What else? What else was on the list? Increased security. So. Oh, actually they could improve this already because what I can see there's um crossed out um padlock which means the connection to this NAS through this web browser is encrypted but it's self-signed certificate it is secure but um browser will not treat it as a secure it will not think that it's secure because it's self-signed because there are lots of websites where they self-sign their certificates presenting there is a secure website but actually it's not obviously in QNIP situation it is secure connection just they could have used WannaCrypt or any other service to actually make this green padlock um, okay so moving on WireGuard How, I think they said they will release this so I very unlikely would find this anywhere in App Center or anywhere like that so they said it's not released yet but let's give it a search. It's good. Yeah, it's not there. So what else was there? Boosted NVMe cache. Cache is, I think, uh, in. Uh, it should be in a uh, storage manager. So let's do storage, storage, and snapshots. And uh, cache. Cache should be uh, here. We go. Cache acceleration. We don't have cache. M the twos are built inside this NAS, but uh, just for curiosity, we could have a look if there is anything to see. Actually, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing like it used to be, but the way it works in the background is improved because of this new kernel they are using. So there's a new Linux in the background, there's upgrade. For that reason, SSD cache should work better because they are now uploading uh, so many things which are normally living on the RAM. It's going to be moved to SSD cache, NVMe cache, which is it could be handy. Uh, this edge TPU we're not going to see because you need actually uh, queuing up USB uh, this TPU unit or M.2 chip built in or installed into an NAS to actually have um, a use of it. Otherwise, you can't. So drive analyzer, um, we could have a look if we can find that. Um, let's cancel that and look for drive analyzer if we can find it gonna go search drive analyzer is it there it's not gonna be that straight or is that an app or is it built in that's the question really <laughs> so drive analyzer search Ah, oh, there we go actually there is so that's a beta app it's not like a um, built-in function in the background of an NAS. That uh, is actually a dedicated uh, app de-analyzer. You can see 1.0. So this is actually a first release. They're probably still working. You can see this is a beta version of an app. 
um, when it's going to be installed we can actually have a look how it looks what is there so important the last thing would be QFTPS um, I think that should be an app as well actually no it's already there so basically this app I think it's, it's already coming as with operating system when I install this new QTS5 uh, this is what we get already with an operating system so you can see you can create FTP server or uh, you can uh, have FTP client you can see who is probably connecting uh, what speeds well, how much of bandwidth they are taking um, when they're transferring their files you can create groups you can create users it's actually quite a handy thing FTP service yeah that, that could be very useful for those who are connecting through FTP if you're not maybe then it's not for you um, if you go back to apps maybe that app will be installed already is um, there or maybe it's not so it was called drive analyzer so you search for the app and have a look is it installed or not so yeah you can see it's installed let's click it open so welcome to the drive analyzer beta version uh, it combines and provides information related to drive health information okay let's just all right it's opening a new tab it's going taking me to a website actually to read about this does it mean that it's not finished i just want to use it why not maybe now it's gonna run no so if you have not joined beat program then uh, apply for it if you have joined the analyze the beta program sign into cloud link with qnap id and go to license center activate the license oh no 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 that's sneaky so we need license for this not good so many people not going to be happy <laughs> so yeah sorry for that we're not going to have a look so so we went through the list more or less what is there so if you have one of these NASs, you can try out um maybe this video was a little bit awkward because that was just my first impressions installing that thing and having a look how it works so this is it you can try it out you can put your comments in uh, underneath this video your experience what maybe i forgot to mention something maybe you can make a new video and talk about other things and um and i hope this was helpful if you have any questions you can always go to nas compares fill the form send the email to info nas compares and we can come back to you with a video like this and help you and help others as well cheerio